It's just a very small video. I'm just deviating off the path for a minute. Oh God, look at that place down there. How oh, that's grown down there, look. Sheds going up everywhere. Anyway, right over there is Glastonbury. It's a place I've got to get to yet. Got to get an early start to go there, then I'll have to pay. Just thought I'd do a little video at the start. This is video two. 24th of August 2021. And I'm just doing a more distant view, rather than going by the wall. I noticed some of the wall's broken there. Just the sun's right in my face, so. But anyway, there's evidence of cow pack, look. Evidence of cow pack here. I like sometimes to do, go off the track a little bit. Rather than follow the sheep, if you know what I mean. Right back over there. See, there's Brent Knoll. A lot of these places I would have, my mention now, I've been up this year. It gets sun baked on one side and green on the other quite often. You can see the motorway as well from here. There's the motorway. Crooks Peak, we'll see eventually. I'm heading for Longwood to start with. Then I'm going to go up onto the. towards the aerials and then to come back via Velvet Bottom. Because so many people in twos. You see so many people in twos. That's f five couples I've already seen. Five couples. It's nice that's, that breeze is welcoming actually. The breeze is welcoming. Um, very much so. And a bit of um, harvesting here. They do harvest bracken, the farmers, you know. Yeah, but I should be going. I'm going to deviate. I'm not going to go where everybody else goes. <laughs> right then. Let's turn off for a minute. Hey, folks. It's very breezy. I just walked across there. And I have noticed a big herd, they must have come up earlier, gone down there, found it's too windy. They're now making their way, a big herd. So it's a good job I hadn't decided to go another route, which I do sometimes. So I just have to be on the lookout on the way back. Yeah, I can't really do that route until the cows get taken out in, in late autumn. Sometimes not, not until Christmas. But anyway, look at these lovely big cottonwood clouds, aren't they beautiful? This is a lovely scene. I'm standing actually in a wind-free zone at the moment. Right over there, above that wall, we've got the, the, the great big tree. I don't know if it's an oak, I can't remember. I will, it probably is, but it might not be. Let's see, you can't really tell from that. I sheltered near there. Well, I passed, not sheltered, I passed by it this year when I, when I was exploring. <sighs> massive herd, in the, not in the field that tree's in, but further over, a massive herd. And they were all mooing like mad a minute ago. Here's a lovely big tree that always greets me when I come through Piney Slights Farm. Yeah, we've got to take, make the most of the weather, folks. I mean, if I'd had uh, me Alberta still, I would have been up on the Quantox quite a lot this year. And I would have gone away. I would have gone off to Cambridgeshire to put flowers on the oak graves at Borough Green and things like that. It's been three, it'll be three years since I've visited now. And I have to visit, otherwise somebody might knock the stones down, you see. So... 
Anyway, I'll just zoom into that hair in a minute. Yeah, they're all over. That's a field I was contemplating walking in. They're going that way towards where I've just passed. I would have bumped straight into them. They'll be heading for the trees. It's supposed to be getting hotter this afternoon. But the breeze um, is cooling. Now, I wasn't supposed to do any videos today. But I can't help it. I just love this place so much. Um, so I can't help it. It might be one I just store and don't share. I share the photos. Normally, always show people the photos. But I don't always put the videos on. I might say I might save them to WMV. I might put them on um, YouTube. I've got over three thousand videos. I've got loads of followers on one particular video I did. And over three, nearly four thousand people click on it. And that was up in Suffolk at my um, the ancestral home, my ancestral home of the Stutvilles, who are buried in the church there, part of the manor. Yeah, they're up there, buried there, the Stutvilles. And um, Until I started researching the Stutvilles, no one had really done the Suffolk Stutvilles. And it was all, it is still a bit vague, and we do know they are mentioned in records, so different charters and things like that. We know they were, and they built castles. We know they existed. But there were some gaps. A lot of them went up north to Northumbria. And uh, the De Clares were the ones that stayed mainly in the south. Um, Suffolk and that, and Ireland and Wales, that's what the Declares did, but the Stutvilles, uh, they come on the scene for me, sort of, um, in the 14th century, there's a gap during the Black Death period, that's what I written why there was a gap, during the Black Death there was upheaval in the country, a massive amount of the population were killed. Oh my god, it's gone very gloomy. And the Stutvilles, there was that gap round about the Black Death time, actually. Um, but there were, were, some came down to Suffolk, some stayed up north. The, the Suffolk ones carried on, really, until. And they still exist, if you know. I mean, we can trace ourselves to them. Hi, tree. Oh, sorry for being rude. I was just rambling on like I normally do. Anyway. Not looking very good at all, is it, the weather? It caught me out again. Um, yeah, so, yeah. For the last 700 years, at least, I have not what we could do is try and link up a Richard and a Thomas. And we think he might have been, they might have been linked to Osmond or a Nicholas Stutville. Um, I haven't gone back in much further. We need to get into the archives to really dig around for that, for land and um, ownership. There's a lot to do. It's a full time job. It's a full time job, actually. I'm a bit disappointed today because they've never said about this wind. When I looked on the weather, it was only going to be like 7 or 8. This is more like 18 or 20, this breeze. as soon as I left home actually but right now I'm out of the wind I've just come through the long sheep field it's going on for 12 o'clock now so 
the sheep are there. I'll probably be coming back this way later. I've got a little circular walk to do now, which is through Longwood, up onto the top of the aerials are, and then down back down through Velvet Bottom. That's the plan for today. But I thought I'll just do a little video going down. It's easier videoing going down, isn't it? Um, we're just going to have a gentle walk up through Longwood. We're not doing the whole circuit, just walking through then coming out into the fields and hoping there's no cows there. So let's have, do this. I do this walk all year round, by the way. This isn't confined to the summer, Longwood or anything. Um, I don't always do the bit I'm doing now. What I'm doing today is really... Oh, somebody coming. Confined to the winter, uh, summer. Okay, we'll out for a minute. It's not easy going down. Someone's just passed me. I had to turn it off for a minute. Someone who reluctantly said hello, actually. I said, oh, not to worry. It was a girl, wasn't she? She was listening to music, I think. <sighs> yeah, it's not that easy going down, because you've got to still be careful. You're more likely to slip going down. These old mossy walls, look. I'll just do a little bit of going down and I won't bother videoing coming back up because I'm usually out of breath. <sighs> I say it's always reassuring for me as a solo walker most of the time to actually see someone else on their own. It's, it's also feeling alright because it's a woman usually. <laughs> no, there are men, but if you see men on their own, you know, it's, I'm sorry, it's just built in. We just we go on defence. It's built in. Goes back to childhood. But if you see a woman on her own, you think, oh, I'm not crazy. It's not just me that likes being out. And she looked like she was going to break into a run as soon as she got in Longfield, though. She might be having a break walking up here. You know, I have seen deer here before, but not for ages. I haven't seen any deer in the wood for ages either. I haven't. In Wilbury Woods. No. I've seen a deer once. It was like by a tree there, keeping dead still. You know, he was hiding behind that tree, but he was massive. I videoed him, I think, got or got a picture. Oh, some more people coming now. Two people this time. Could be more than two. Could be three. I'll turn off any second now. Right, over and out.